some Jeffy tunes. I've been in the beat laboratory cooking up some nasty beats. Now, who wants to hear it? No, Jeffy, we're really tired. Please just go to bed. Well, let me just hit this button 11 times. No, Jeffy, just go to bed. No, I don't have to. No, I don't have to. I don't have to go to bed right now. I want to stay up all night and play some Fortnite. I never want to go to sleep again. Go to bed. Don't have to. Don't have to. Don't have to ever, ever sleep again. For I'm going to eat lasagna and maybe a banana singing Jeffy Wiffy Doodle all the day. Hell yeah. Thank you, Connecticut. I'll be here all week, fuckers. Ugh, now we totally righteous! Righteous totally, dude! Oh, Jeffy, please go to bed. All right, how about three more songs? No! All right, how about four? <laughs> Marvin, we're gonna need this monster to stay up with Jeffy all night. Yeah, just go ahead and open it. What's a monster? I want to sip. Uh, no, no, Jeffy, no. It's a very dangerous, scary drink. So when you drink it, it turns you into a monster. So you, you don't want to drink that. Well, you guys were gonna drink it. Well, no, 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 we weren't. No, we weren't. Uh, Rose found it, and it's very dangerous. So we were gonna go pour it out so no one could drink it. Well, I'll pour it out for you. No, only adults should pour it out. So I want to pour it out. Oh, I got my way. Oh, I got my way. Jeffy, are you really gonna pour it out? Yep. Marvin, if he drinks that, we're screwed. He, he's not gonna drink it. He's not gonna drink it. He's afraid of monsters, and maybe he believed our lie. Hmm. Do I really want to pour this out, or do I want to turn into a big, scary monster? Marvin, do you think Jeffy poured out that monster? Yeah, I think he did. What? Jeffy, did you drink that monster? Does your rocking horse have a wooden pecker? Of course I did. You told me it was going to turn me into a monster. But now I feel like I'm the Flash. Jeffy, oh my god. He's going to be up forever now. Uh, Marvin, is Jeffy asleep? Let me check. He, 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 he fell asleep. He finally passed out. Oh, thank god. Okay, if we stay really quiet, then he won't wake up and we can go to sleep. Okay, Marvin. I'm awake! Oh! Marvin, quick, go answer the door before they ring the doorbell again! Okay. Hello? Hello, sir! I'm a traveling bell salesman. I was wondering if you wanted to buy any bells. Oh, shh, please be quiet. Oh, sorry, I didn't know I was supposed to be quiet. Uh, your bells are really loud. Oh, yeah, they're the loudest in town. Let me show you what I got in stock. Oh, no, no, no. Check oh, this out. Not really a bell, but it's really loud. It's a wind chime. Can, can you please put that down? Sure. And then, if you need anything industrial size, we have this great tambourine. What? Please be quiet. Please. It's so loud it broke my glasses. What? And we have a maid bell. Okay, okay, that's really cool. Can you, can you stop, please. And then, if you ever have a fantasy about being a hotel maid, check this out. Can you please stop it? So you're not going to buy anything? No! Wow! Wasting my time. Unbelievable. To make a living, you know. Give me my glasses back. Oh my god. What the hell was that, Marvin? It was a bell salesman. What does that even mean? I don't know. Did Jeffy wake up? Almost. We have to keep it down. Well, nothing else is gonna make noise tonight. We're gonna be okay. Okay. <laughs> Marvin, go fix it. Go stop it. Okay. All right, guys. Lizard Guts is back. Heck yeah, it is. Best believe it, dude. All right, let's rock. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Man. My son is trying to sleep in the other room. Yeah, well, rock and roll never sleeps. Listen, if you don't stop playing that music, I I'm gonna do something bad. What are you gonna do about it, old man? <laughs> what? Hey, what? Okay, hey, get, get the back. <laughs> Bro, that's my guitar. That's what you get for making noise. Well, I'll admit, that was pretty punk rock, but I'm still gonna tell my dad. <laughs> Marvin, what was all that noise? It was a kid playing the guitar. Tonight of all nights. Well, don't worry, I stopped it. Well, how did you get them to stop? I took the guitar outside and I smashed it. Marvin! Well, it was the only way to get them to stop. They were too cool to stop playing. At least Jeffy didn't wake up. Let's try to go to sleep. Okay. Who could that be? Hello? Hey, son, is this him? Yeah, Dad, that's the guy that smashed my guitar. Oh, so you don't want to like to smash little black boy's guitars, huh? Shh, keep it down. It ain't no keep it down! 
The world needs to know about your racism. You like to smash little gay black boys' guitars because you're stuck in your ways. You want to hear your shoebox music. No, he's white. No, I ain't, I ain't no he's white. Look, little Nas X is black and a gay rock star. Why can't my son be a black gay rock star? Yeah, you tell him, Dad. Well, listen, I promise you it has nothing to do with the color of his skin. Can you just keep it down and just be quiet? Look, I smashed his guitar because it was loud. What? Guitar? Are you, you gonna get mad at planes because they they loud too, or, or crowds because they chill and they loud? No, no I, I, look, what can I do to get you to leave? I need to be compensated for that guitar right now. Well, how much was the guitar? Well, we got it at a thrift store, so it was forty dollars, but we got a fifty percent discount because I did a favor for the manager. I call it the mouth discount. Yeah, she know how to use her mouth to get that discount. <laughs> oh, all I have is a hundred. Give me up. Let's go, baby. I ain't got no cash. Oh. Who could that have possibly have been, Morvin? It was the parents of the kid's guitar I smashed. Why'd you have to smash the guitar? Listen, that's all dealt with. Listen, no more people are going to be ringing the doorbell, and no more people are going to be playing instruments. Let's just finally sleep since Jeffy's sleeping. Okay. Is that a lawnmower? No one mows their lawn this late at night, Marvin. Not those damn hucker dudes. Hey! Howdy, neighbor! What are you doing? Cutting my grass. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, just because it's dark outside doesn't mean the grass stops growing. Listen, my son's sleeping. I don't want you to wake him up. Can you do this like in the morning? No can doodly do, neighbor. See, I gotta cut my grass every eight hours if I want to win next year's Lawn of the Year trophy. So you're not gonna stop? Nope. Hold on. What are you doing with that bat? Going batting practice? <sighs> I got him to stop. Thank God. Maybe we can finally get some sleep. <laughs> Marvin, silence your phone! Hello? Hey, Marvin. What do you want? I'm just doing my pilot job, flying a plane. You know, those red-eye flights. It's actually pretty boring up here. That's why I called, so I don't fall asleep. Well, listen, right now is not a good time to talk. Oh, hey, I'm actually coming up in your neighborhood right now. You want me to fly as low as I can, see if I can buzz your house? Do not do that. Oh, no, 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 no. D did you see me? No, I didn't see you. Oh, hold on. Let me circle back and try again. Do not try it again. Go outside. Go, 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 go. Did you see me that time? No, I didn't see you that time. How did you not see me, Marvin? I'm in a giant plane. It's a 747. I can't believe you didn't see me. I wasn't outside. Oh, well, you want me to try again? No, I'm trying to sleep. Well, actually, I have to, because now I'm going the wrong way. So go outside. Go, 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 go. Did, did you see me that time? Yes, I saw you. Yay. Oh, damn it. See, now I don't have enough fuel to get to where I'm going, so I got to go back to the airport. So go outside. Go, 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 go. Oh, sorry. I, I kind of scraped your roof there. There's definitely some roof damage. I, I probably should have flown higher. Sorry about that. Hey, I can fix it, though. I do roofs. Well, don't fix it. Just stop calling me and leave me alone. <sighs> I can't believe Jeffy did not wake up during all that. Oh, oh my God, the fire alarm. Jeffy, why is there a fire? Marvin, today's my birthday, and I wanted to make a huge candle and blow it out. So I'm making hot Cheetos. Well, blow it out. Well, sing happy birthday for me. What? Happy birthday? Uh, happy birthday to you. Sing it louder. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. No, sing the real version. That is the real version. No, no, it's not. Sing the real version. What are you talking about? Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Because today is your birthday. Because today is your birthday. Blow it out. I'm going to turn off the fire detector. Why was the fire alarm going off? It's Chef Pee-Pee's birthday. So? Listen, he was trying to make a candle. Look, look, as long as Jeffy is still sleeping, we're good. Let's try to go to bed. Who's on the roof? I have no idea. Careful! Who could be on the roof? Hey, Marvin. Shh. Don't shush me. Stupid. I thought you were supposed to be flying a plane. Oh, no. They canceled the flight because there was some structural damage to the bottom of the plane from where I hit your roof. Uh, speaking of which, I'm really sorry about that. I tried to fix it the best I could because I felt so bad, so I just kind of patched it with some scotch tape and wood. I really hope your insurance covers that. Can you just be quiet? My son's trying to sleep. Oh, hey. <laughs> Man, Look, he's a heavy sleeper. Can you just go? Oh, yeah. But how cool was that plane, though, right? It looked cool when it flew over, right? Oh, it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen a plane fly that low. Yeah, you saw it? Oh, yeah, I saw it. So what airline was I flying for? Like, what color was the plane? Oh, uh, uh, silver? No. It was bright yellow because I was flying Spirit Airlines. What other airline do you think would let me fly that dangerously? Well, listen, I'm sorry. I didn't go outside. My son was sleeping. I didn't want to wake him up. What other friend do you have that would endanger the life of 200 passengers just to say hi? You're never going to get that kind of friendship anywhere else. <laughs> I can't believe Jeffy's still sleeping through all that. Okay, let's go to bed. Marvin, did you just turn on the TV? What, did you sit on the remote? No!
Breaking news, okay? A plane had to make an emergency landing after scraping the top of a house. In other breaking news, okay? A high-speed police chase ended in front of a house, and the armed suspect has entered the home through a hole in the roof, and police have the place surrounded now. Marvin, you don't think that's our house, do you? No, just look for the remote. The TV's really loud. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Turn off the TV. Okay. Okay, let's go to sleep. Nobody move! Oh my god. Freeze, you bastard! Drop the knife! Drop the gun or I'll kill him! Can you guys be quiet? Let him go or I'll blow you away! Well, you might as well blow me away, cause I'm not going back to jail! <laughs> Sorry about that, Marvin. Yeah, shooting him's really for the best. It's, it's better than putting him back in prison and then feeding him for several years on taxpayer money until eventually we just let him go on good behavior and he maybe eat somebody. Can you just please be quiet? Man, I'm feeling really pumped. I'm gonna fire a few victory shots into your ceiling. <laughs> Oh, that feels really good. Oh, oh, wow, your son's still sleeping? Yeah, can you please just be quiet? Oh, sorry, I'll leave. <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, nothing, Jeffy, just go back to sleep. Well, I'm not tired anymore, so I'm gonna take off my eyelids, and I'm gonna ride my horsey. No, Jeffy, go back to bed. Oh, my uh... God. I will never get some sleep. I'm supposed to pee in because I already found the one I'm supposed to poop in. You're not supposed to poop in a cup, Jimmy! Too late. It was running. Ew, Jimmy, that's disgusting. Why would you do that? Because he's labeled poop. That's just a picture, Jimmy. Hold on. I gotta go answer the door. Uh, pour that out. Hello? Marvin, you have to let me inside. I have to show you what I bought. Okay. <laughs> All right, Marvin, bam! Adebayo is also on this team, but he's not as good as Jimmy Butler. You bought a Jimmy Butler jersey? Oh, not just any Jimmy Butler jersey. See, in his last game, Jimmy Butler scored 56 points, which is the most points that any Miami Heat player has ever scored in the playoffs. And he did it while wearing this jersey, and he signed it. Oh, it smells like Jimmy. Take a whiff. Take a whiff of Jimmy. Ew, it smells like sweaty man. Yeah, he is a man. More of a man than I'll ever be. He could have my wife. How much did you pay for this jersey? Oh, you know, $250,000. $250,000? Yeah, it's my entire life savings. But look, it's worth it because I got this stinky shirt. I don't think I would ever pay that amount of money for a shirt. Oh, yeah? Well, would you buy a shirt that Jesus wore? I guess. Yeah, exactly, and that's him. That's Jimmy Jesus Christ Butler, because he had to walk on water to get that 56 points, because we beat the Milwaukee Sucks. Uh, I mean, Bucks. Hey, I like that team. Yeah, well, you must like sucking Jimmy, because we're up 3-1 on your bitch ass, and it's about to be 4-1 tonight. No, uh Okay, yeah, okay, whatever. Well, thank you for showing us this jersey. Hey, hey, you want to see my favorite plays of that game? Not really. Look, I'll show you. I got them on my phone right here. Look, watch him get this three to, to take the lead. Here comes Jimmy, wide open for the lead. Oh, Jimmy! Yeah, Jimmy! Whoa, Jimmy! Go eat! Can you say clutch? Clutch daddy? That's Hemi Butler right there! I mean, that was really cool. Oh, that's nothing. You should see this next play. Watch. Oh, here comes Jimmy Butler. He's filthy. This man doesn't wipe all three! Jimmy! Have my baby, Jimmy! Marry me! <laughs> Marvin! Was that not the nastiest thing you've ever seen? Jimmy didn't have to do that to them. That was not consensual, what you just watched. The Bucks get me tooed, or should I say, me too tooed for Jimmy? Well, wasn't that a two pointer, not a three? Okay, yeah, he stepped on the line and it was worth two, but it doesn't matter because he still won. That's why the jersey was worth so much. You could have at least got him to wash it. It smells so bad. No, it's full of Jimmy juice. I actually wrung it out into a cup and drank it, hoping I would absorb his power, but it didn't work. All it did was make me very sick. Speaking of sick, I have to pee, and I think I have a UTI. Can I use your bathroom? Well, we don't have a pee cup. Oh, usually I pee into a Mountain Dew bottle while I'm sitting on the couch, so I don't have to get up while I'm watching Jimmy. That's probably why I have a UTI. Anyway, I'm gonna go pee all over your toilet seat. Danny, what am I supposed to do with this cup of diarrhea? I said pour it out, Jeffy. Put it on the jersey, Jeffy! You told me to pour it out! I said in the sink! Oh, okay. Oh my god, he poured diarrhea all over the Jimmy Butler jersey! Ew! Oh my god, what are we gonna do? We gotta clean it! Oh, we can get some bleach or, or some wipes or some napkins or I don't know what to do! Somebody's in here. And it's gonna be a while, too, because I'm taking a Milwaukee Bucks in the toilet. Because I'm shitting. Hard. Yeah, I thought I had to pee, but then my bowels have a surprise for me. Okay. 
Here, Marvin, I got some paper towels. What? Paper towels is not good enough, baby. We need bleach. Marvin, we can't use bleach on our nice red couch. We have to get the stain out of the Jimmy Butler journey. Marvin, I have an idea. Let's take it to the sink downstairs and use Dawn dish soap. It gets oil off of duckies. What? Come on, just trust me, Marvin. Hey, Danny, someone's in the bathroom and I can't pour this down the sink. Well, then go pour it in the bathtub. I don't know. Okay. See, Marvin, look, the duckies. I don't know what that means. Just trust me, Marvin. <laughs> You're getting it all blue! Just hold on, Marvin! See, look, it's helping! It still just looks blue and soapy! Marvin, trust me! Go get the stain remover! Uh, okay. Okay, I got the stain remover. Marvin, look, the stain's almost gone! It actually worked! That's the power of Dawn Dish Soap! Are you sponsored by them? Not sponsored. I just love animals. Okay, so what do we do now? Marvin, go turn on some extra light to make sure we get all the stain out. Okay, where's the light? Uh. <laughs> Which did? How long have you lived here? I don't do the dishes, Chef Bibi does. Well, Marvin, what do we do? Okay, uh, why don't you grab some scissors and we can cut the bottom of the jersey off? He doesn't know how long the jersey was. Ooh, that's a good idea, Marvin. But the jersey's still soaking wet. We have to dry it off. We can put it in the dryer. No, we can't have the jersey shrink. Uh, we have to dry it off another way. Ooh, we could get the iron. <gasps> yeah, go grab the iron. Okay. Oh my god, those cuts are so bad. Rub a dub dub, hunky boy in the tub. Oh no, what if I drown? Good thing I have a hunky lifeguard watching me. Oh no, I'm drowning. Somebody needs to give me ass to mouth. Ooh. Hey, Cody. Oh, hey, Jeffy, what are you doing here? I'm gonna dump diarrhea in your bath. What? What? Ew! Ew, that's gross, I can't. Let's get out of here. Come on. All right, Marvin, I have the iron. It's hot. Please be careful with it. I'll be careful with it, Marvin. Hey, Danny, I poured the diarrhea in the tub while someone was taking a bath. Why would you do that, Jeffy? That's disgusting. But that's what you told me to do. No, I said pour it in the tub, not while somebody was in it. Well, they don't teach you that in school. Jeffy, go stand in the corner. For how long? Six minutes. That's like forever. What if I starve? Okay, five minutes. Okay, but if I die, I'm going to call Child Protective Services on your ass. You're 18 years old, Jeffy. You can't call Child Child Protective Services. Well, in that case, I'm not gonna stand in the corner. Go stand that ass in the corner. The will to. Make it four minutes, y'all think about it. Okay, four minutes, just go. What about three and a half? Oh, Jeffy, I don't care how long you stay in the corner. I just want you to learn your lesson. What about two minutes? Go stand in the corner. All right, I'll do it for one minute and see how I feel. Oh my God, what is wrong with him? Why does he act like this? All right, I'm back. What? Jeffy, that was only like five seconds. I got scared. Of what? Earthquakes. We don't have earthquakes in Florida, Jeffy. Well, I thought I heard one. What? Oh, Jeff, go to your room. And play video games? Will that make you learn your lesson? Maybe. Just go to your room. Oh my god, why is Jeffy like this? It's his fault we're even in this situation. If he wouldn't have poured his diarrhea all over the jersey, we wouldn't be doing this. Is it dry? Oh my god, I forgot! What? what? Take it off! Oh, okay! Oh my god! Marvin, I'm so sorry! You bitch! You, you burned the signature off! Jeffy distracted me with his chit chat! Oh my god, what are we gonna do? I don't know! I mean, it's dry now, but oh my god, just take it upstairs. Just okay. take it upstairs right now. Okay. You move. Okay. Okay, baby, what are we going to do? The signature is burned off. The bottom of it's cut. The top of it's still stained. I don't know what to do. Well, Marvin, hear me out. Look. If we flip it over, right, it looks okay on the front, and we could fake the signature and sign right here on the two, still cut the bottom part off, and hope he doesn't flip it over. Wait. I mean, yeah, 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 we could just say that it was always signed on the front the whole time. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Okay, 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 you grab the scissors. Okay. And you start cutting and I'll grab a Sharpie. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, baby, I got the Sharpie. Okay, I cut the bottom part off. Uh, oh, yeah, that, that looks real good. Thank you. So I'm going to sign the two. I forgot how the signature looked. Just write Jimmy Butler. Okay, um, I'll try. Okay, baby, I just signed it. Marvin, you didn't even write in cursive. I don't know how to sign Jimmy Butler's name in cursive. I only know how to sign my name in cursive. You didn't capitalize the J? Look, I did the best I could. It's still signed by him, right? Yeah, I guess it's okay. Oh, no, baby. The jersey, it smells like darn dish soap. It's supposed to smell like sweaty man. Oh, no, Marvin. What do we do now? Jeffy, get in here. Yes, Daddy? Jeffy, when's the last time you washed your balls? Strong two weeks, Daddy. Do they smell bad? Well, let me check. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 
Yeah, they're bad, Day. They're ripe. Okay, can you please rub this jersey all over your balls? Sure, Day. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Get up in there. Uh -huh. uh, there you go, Daddy. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, God. Oh, that's disgusting, Jeffy. Oh, my God. Okay, I think the jersey's perfect. Uh -huh. Ooh, go, Jimmy. Go, Jimmy. Go. Ooh, Jimmy Butler. Okay, there we go. I think I'm done watching highlights. Should I wipe? No, because Jimmy doesn't wipe because he's nasty, and I want to be nasty just like Jimmy. I'm going to have dirty cheeks just like Jimmy. Should I flush? No, because that's how nasty I am. If Jimmy's going to be nasty, I'm going to be nasty too. Hey, everybody, I'm back from the bathroom. Did you have a good time? Was the toilet nice? Was the lights bright enough for you in there? Wow, I didn't know you guys were so interested. Uh, yeah, I mean, I shit a lot, but I didn't wipe because Jimmy doesn't wipe. What a good boy. Good pooper. Good job. Wow, I, I'm getting weirdly turned on by this. I, I think I have an appreciation kink because it doesn't happen very often. God, I need to go to therapy. Oh my God, Jimmy signed the front too? That's so cool because he signed the back in cursive. And it makes sense that he would do it twice because Jimmy does everything twice. That's why his number's 22. It's two twice. Yeah, he even shoots threes twice. That was a two. Yeah, would that make sense? Because it's like two twice, you know, and then two, two is twice the points of one. Yeah, so you know what I think you should do? I think you should walk home and only look at the front of your jersey. But I want to stay here and watch the Heat game with you guys. Oh, that could, that could only happen if we had cable, which we don't. What are you talking about? You guys watch TV all the time. Well, we lost our TV remote, so we canceled the cable because we thought we'd never watch TV again. The remote's right here. Oh, well, we still don't have cable. Look, it's working. You guys have cable. Uh, oh, damn it. But why damn it? Aren't you happy you have cable? I'm just mad at the whole situation. Okay, well, I want to see the back of my jersey. No, 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 no. We've been looking at the back of it all day. Why don't we only look at the front of it? I mean, the front's so cool. It, it says heat. Yeah, it, it does say heat. And hey, I mean, I have heat on mine too, but th this is the away jersey. Th this is the home jersey. Oh, thank you for telling us that. You know what? I, I really like it. I do really want to see the back of it. No, 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 no. Don't look at the back because you don't want to jinx Jimmy Butler before the game. It's a jinx to look at the, the name of your favorite player before a game. But it is? Yeah, it's just like seeing your wife on, on your wedding day. It's bad luck. Wow, that explains why all of my marriages have failed. It's because I saw my wife on my wedding day. Marvin, that's before the wedding. Uh, but before the wedding. If I ever get married again, I'm not showing up to the wedding at all. I'm not even going to look at her. Oh, okay. Well, look, I, I think you should just take your jersey home. You know what? I really do want to see the back because it, it doesn't matter if it's a jinx. Jimmy Jimmy doesn't need the luck, okay? Uh, yeah, 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 it's bad luck. It's bad. <gasps> Jimmy, what the fuck happened to my jersey? Oh, oh listen, 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 listen. I want you to look at it. I want you to look at it. If you, if you look at it really closely, uh -huh. right? Look at it really closely. See, it, it might look burnt, right? It looks burnt, yeah. Okay, that's because it is. But but if, if, you, if you remember, Jimmy was on fire during that game. Well, yeah, of course he was on fire. He's Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, he was shooting threes. And the, the, they're called the Miami Heat because what they do is they add this flame retardant the material to the jersey so when a player plays really well they can light the player on fire and you can only see it in person and so after the game he was so hot during that game that once he hands you the jersey it started burning up because it was exposed to sunlight huh i mean everything you're saying makes sense and it makes sense to be on the back too because he does carry the team on his back yeah yeah he played so good that day he carried the whole team on his back and that's why the back of the jersey's burnt and that's why he signed the front of the jersey too because he knew the back of the jersey was going to burn up and, and and that's that that's why that happened yeah jimmy you're so smart but still though i, I don't remember the jersey being this short oh well the bottoms of the jersey they, they they burn off too because he gets so hot down there from running around his genitals oh yeah that's true jimmy does have a hot dick i i've said that about him. It really heats up when he plays. Okay, I'm just really glad my jersey's okay. Yeah, your jersey's fine. It's exactly how it was. It's what, what's happened. It happened. Okay, good. Let's watch the Heat game. Bucks are gonna win. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, well no, they're not. Okay, so, so shut up. Hey, hey, Marvin, I, I think it should be a boys-only watch party, huh? How about you go watch the WNBA? Oh, wait, I forgot. Nobody watches that. <gasps> I'm glad we burnt and cut up your jersey. What?! Jeffy, it's time to go to school. All right, Danny, just as soon as I get done eating my breakfast. Jeff, you're not going to eat blue rock candy for breakfast. Well, I'm 18, so I'm going to do it anyway. What, Jeff, you're 18 in the third grade. <laughs> Jeffy, stop it. It's not my fault my hopes are up and my syndrome is down. Marvin, look, the news. Stop it. That's my thing. Marvin, look, the news. Breaking news, okay? 
Blue rock candy is now illegal. Scientists have found that it causes early onset diabetes, schizophrenia, and teeth cancer. Blue rock candy is illegal? Well, Jeffy, don't eat that. It's super illegal and it's dangerous. But no one knows that I have it. I'll just be taking this. What? The cops? Yeah, we're going around confiscating everybody's blue rock candy because this is super illegal now. And also, the street value of this is insane. You can get thousands of dollars just for this. Huh, you guys should have sold it before I got here. Well, what am I going to eat for breakfast now? <sighs> Jeffy, just eat your cat food. <laughs> Marvin, don't give Jeffy cat food again. It's okay, Mommy. I like shrimp and biscuits. See, baby, he likes it. Yeah, eat it up, Jeffy. <laughs> <sighs> Who's that? Hello? Good morning, Marvin. Lovely day, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm here. Uh, I don't have my house payment this month. Oh, I know, but it's not my problem anymore because I sold your mortgage to the Mexican cartel. ASA. What, you sold my mortgage? I sure did. And the bad news is, is sometimes I would let you miss house payments without any consequences. But they love consequences. Do you want to know how I lost my eye and my hand? I missed my house payments, so I cut them off myself to teach myself a lesson. Wow. I'm going to let you guys talk. So where's my money, Bato? Uh, listen, I don't have the money this month. Listen, you better have my $10,000 by tomorrow morning, or else I'm going to take your ball sack, cut it off, and turn it into a balloon to give to my daughter on her quinceañera. My house payment's not $10,000. It is now, Bato, so you better get it, or else I'm going to mucho gracias your ball sack. It's a really nice house. You have a good day. <laughs> Oh no! Oh my god! What's wrong, Marvin? Goodman sold my mortgage to the Mexican cartel and they said if I don't give him $10,000 by tomorrow, they're gonna mucho gracias my ball sack. What does that even mean? A lot thank you, his ball sack. Exactly. Marvin, where are we gonna get that kind of money? I mean, I could sell my car. Yeah, that could work. Hey Marvin, I got some bad news for you. Sorry, it looks like you're already having a bad day, but I'm gonna make it worse. Your lung x-rays came back and you see that black spot? That's lung cancer. <laughs> You have lung cancer. Is it bad? Oh no, it's actually the good kind of lung cancer. It is? No, no, there's no such thing. It's all lung cancer and it's all bad. Well, what are we gonna do? Well, we could treat it by tomorrow and you'd probably survive it, but the treatments are hundreds of thousands of dollars and I know you can't afford that. Well, what can you do for me? Well, I can give you this box of tissue so you can cry me a river, and I can give you this hammer so you can build a bridge and get over it. Marvin, what are we gonna do? Well, I'm the one with the cancer and the payment, so I feel like I should be crying. Oh, yeah, you're right. Honestly, Daddy, what I would do is, since they can't legally deny you medical care, is that your medical bills go to collections and then you focus on making your mortgage payment. That's really smart, Jeffy. So, yeah, let's focus on making $10,000 by tomorrow. Anyone have any ideas to make money? Well, the police officer man said that the blue rock candy's worth thousands of dollars. But, Jeffy, that's illegal. Yeah, Jeffy, that's illegal, and you wouldn't happen to have any more of that candy sitting around, would you? No, that was my last little bit. Damn it. Marvin, you weren't thinking about selling that, were you? I mean, it's worth thousands of dollars. Yeah, Mommy, we gotta move weight. Well, good thing Jeffy doesn't have any more. I mean, we could make some. Yeah, Daddy, let's cook. No, no cooking illegal rock candy under this roof. But it's thousands of dollars. No buts, Marvin. <sighs> okay, Jeffy, let's go downstairs and cook breakfast. All right, Daddy. Okay, Jeffy, pour a little bit of the serum on the pan. All right, Daddy. Yeah, that's looking real good. That's looking real good. Hey, Daddy. Red. Oh, I'm allergic to latex. Oh, ha <laughs> why does it do that? It's allergic reaction, Jeffy. Look, let's check on the first batch. All right. Oh, that's looking good. Can we MF and cook or what? Yeah, Jeffy, it is looking really good. Oh my God, we're amazing at this. What the hell are y'all doing in my kitchen? Whipping up dope up like a pot of spaghetti. <gasps> y'all are making blue rock candy? That's just illegal. Oh, we really need the money. Oh, I'm about to call the police on y'all. Oh, we have a snitch, Jeffy. Let's go get him. <laughs> Not the one. This candy dealer's in my kitchen. Look out, Jeffy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Daddy, he's knocked out and tied up. What do you want me to do with him? What we usually do to snitches. I got you, Daddy. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to start putting the blue rock candy in the Ziploc bag. Marvin! Oh, oh no, Rose is coming. i got to hide this. Marvin, what are you cooking for breakfast? <gasps> Marvin, why are you dressed like that? Uh, me and Jeffy are making blue waffles. We Googled a picture of it to get the recipe. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Hey, Daddy, I got the fucker's head. <laughs> Oh, great, Jeffy. Now we have to go catch her. I'll get the knife. Hello, 911. There's people in my house cooking blue rock candy. Hang up the phone, bitch. <laughs> you shut up in there. All right, Jeffy. Let's get back to cooking. Okay, Jeffy. I already put blue rock candy in this bag. So I want you to take it to school and sell it and try to get as much money as you can. I'm on it, Danny. I'm going to go get dressed for school. I'm going to keep staying here and cooking. All right, Kraus, today we're going to be going over the side effects and the negatives of blue rock candy. So to help me do that, I have a police officer here. Hey, kids. Now, I know, I know, I'm a big, scary police officer, but I brought my good friend Sebastian the No-Candy-Eating Lion here to make you guys feel better. Sebastian, get 
Get your ass in here. <laughs> hey kids, it's me, Sebastian, the No Candy Lion. <laughs> Just say no to candy. God damn it, Sebastian, did you take a bump to the car? Just a little bump. Just a little. Oh my God. Uh, sorry, sorry, kids. Sebastian has to go back to the zoo. What? No, I don't want to go back there. Come on, we're going. Back. Guys, I can't believe Blue Rock Candy is illegal. I know, dude. I loved it. I would literally pay any amount of money just for one piece of it. I've literally never seen anybody eat Blue Rock Candy. I don't see what the big deal is. You guys want to buy some Blue Rock Candy? Oh, hell yeah. Here's $100. Here's $20. Oh, what can I get for a dollar, dude? I want some. Well, since you guys are my boys, I'll give you guys half the bag for all your money put together. Here you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, bet. Oh, my God. This Blue Rock Candy is amazing. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's so delicious. Meh, it's okay. Hola amigos, you want to buy some Blue Rock candy? Sorry Felipe, we already bought some. Where did you get that from? Jeffy's selling it. Oh, let me try this shit. Woo! Shit's good. A little too good. My father needs to hear about this. Papi! Alright kids, Sebastian's in the car now. But as we were going to say, Blue Rock candy is illegal now because all that sugar causes early onset diabetes, schizophrenia, and teeth cancer. Which is cancer of the teeth. Hey, you, what the hell is that? <laughs> Kids? What, Penelope? Hi, Dad. Where did you get this Blue Rock candy from? Uh, it's Cody's. He bought most of it. Yeah, it's all Cody's. Where did you get it from? I ain't snitching. I'll die for my homies. Not talking, huh? Well, I guess you're coming with me down to the station. Fuck you, pigs. I'll use my one phone call to call your mom. Another batch done. All right, Daddy. I sold half the bag at school and made 124 bucks. Jeffy, you goober. <laughs> That bag alone is worth two grand. But they were my boys, so I had to hook them up. You don't have any boys in this industry, Jeffy. The only boys you got are dead presidents. Oh, like George Washington and Benjamin Franklin? Yeah, those are your boys. All right, well, I promise I'll do better. But what happened was I had to get them hooked, and once you get them hooked, then they come back and spend even more money. But, Jeffy, I need ten grand by tomorrow, so get your ass back out on that street and go door to door and sell more of this blue candy. Yes, sir. <sighs> Wasting my time cooking. <laughs> Who's that? Hello? Hey, Essen. Oh, hey, amigo. I will have you your money by tomorrow. I sure will. Word on the street is that you've been cooking blue rock candy. Blue rock candy? I don't know how to make that stuff. Then why aren't you dressed like that, huh? I'm deep cleaning my kitchen. Don't lie to me, Holmes. I know you've been cooking it. Listen, I'm just trying to pay your money by tomorrow. You're stealing my operation and my customers. Well, I'm not trying to. But my son did bring me some of your stuff, and it was good. It was good? Yeah, so go in there and show me how you make it. Well, I'd rather keep it a secret. I you. Oh, okay, come on. Okay, look, this is how I make it. I put the sugar in the dye, then I put it on the pan, and I put it in the oven. I'll be taking this. Consider it a prepayment. Well, okay, look, I'm just trying to get you your $10,000 so I can be done. Forget about the $10,000. You work for me now. Work for you? For how long? Forever. Until the day you die. Well, what if I refuse? Then I'll just cut your eye out and cut your arm off. Well, are you at least going to pay me? Your payment is that you get to live. Listen, you just keep making this blue rock candy, and I'll be back later for more money. Oh my god, what I get myself into? <laughs> Who's that? Hello? What? The cops! Hey there, Marvin. You deep cleaning? Uh, yeah, deep cleaning. What do you fine officers want? Fine? You hear that, Simmons? He called us fine. Why are your eyes red? Oh, I got Windex in my eyes. Oh, I hate when that happens. Well, listen, Marvin, the reason I'm here is that I think I lost my favorite pen around your couch when I was telling you you had cancer. And you do still have cancer. You should probably get that taken care of. Oh, well, I just cleaned around my couch. I didn't see a pen. Oh, can I come in and look? Because it might be, like, under your couch. Well, I lifted up the couch. It's not under it. Oh, well, can I use your bathroom? Because I really got a tinkle. Well, I just cleaned the toilet. Toilet that I don't want you peeing all over the toilet seat. Oh, that's fair, because I do like to piss all over the seat. Hmm. Well, can I come in and have a drink? Because I'm pretty thirsty. Oh, I just poured out all the drinks in the refrigerator because they were expired. Wow. Well, can I at least have some tap water? I had my water turned off because I'm dying of cancer. I don't need water anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that does make sense. Well, can I come in and look at your furniture? Because I'm furniture shopping and I want to show Simmons your couches. Okay, make it quick. Okay. See, Simmons, look at this couch. It's really nice. And I think it's a pullout, too. I never pull out of your mother. Ew, Simmons, ew! <laughs> Is that a woman screaming? No, no, no. I think that's just the TV. Something's wrong. Simmons, come on. No, 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 no. All right, Simmons, where did that woman scream come from? In here, in here! I think it came from in here. Hmm, let's see. Oh, my God. Well, that's not what it looks like. Look, I don't know what kind of weird kinky shit you guys are into, but I don't want to see it. No, he tied me up and banged me in the head. I, I, I don't need to know where he banged you, okay? I'm just going to close the door. No, 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 no. Look, I'm really sorry for interrupting. I'll get out of your hair.
Wait, Simmons, you smell that? Yeah, blue ass. I left a little rosebud in my kangaroo pouch. No, not that, Simmons. I smell blue rock candy. To the kitchen! What no! Oh my god, Simmons, we just walked in on a giant candy lab. Willy Wonka would be proud. You're going to jail for a million billion years. That's how illegal this is. No, I'm sorry. I just needed the money. Put your hands behind your back. Wait, wait is that a human head? That's murder. That's at least another hundred years. Yeah, put... What? Amigo, you saved me! Damn right I did not. Where's my money? Uh, money? Uh, well, I didn't sell any more since you left. Oh, that's not very mucho gracias, Bato. Now cut up these bodies and put them in acid. And you better have my money by the time I get back, or else... Oh, man, what am I gonna do? He, he, is he gone? I think so. Oh, God, that really hurt. I just didn't want him to kill us, so I used Ninja Focus to slow down my breathing and heart rate. Well, well you know I didn't do anything wrong. Like, he, he's making me do all this. Yeah, we heard the whole thing. I mean, it's not like you're doing this on your own. Uh, no, I, never. Right, yeah, that's good. Okay, so I got a plan to kill that guy because nobody hits me with a bottle. Come on. Okay, so Simmons is standing guard outside that door in case the cartel guy comes back. When I get my tuna fish! We'll get it in a minute. Hold on. Okay, so here's the plan. Whenever the cartel guy comes back to get his money, you're gonna tell him Tuna Fish Terry has his money, so he comes to see Tuna Fish Terry. Now, I hooked up a bunch of explosives inside that wheelchair, and they're connected to that bell. So whenever Tuna Fish Terry rings the bell, it'll blow up the wheelchair, killing both Tuna Fish Terry and the cartel guy. But when I get my tuna fish! You'll get it when the cartel guy is dead! Jesus! He doesn't know he's gonna die. Why don't you just arrest the cartel member? Because that's lame. This is way cooler. I saw it in a TV show and I want to try it. He's coming! Oh, he's coming. I'll hide behind the couch. Uh. Hey, SA, check out this book I got my kids. El Gato and Sombrerato. It's by this Dr. Sussman. He's crazy with the pictures. Check this shit out, man. This Gato is crazy. He puts a cake on his head. My kids are going to love this shit, man. Oh. Wow, but you have kids? Oh, see, si. Yeah, my kids would die without me. They love me so much, especially since I'm the only thing they got because their mother died. Their mother died? Oh, yeah, I had to cut her head off because she didn't pay me my money. Speaking of, where's my money? Huh? Oh, huh? Uh, he, he has it. Okay, where's my money? Uh, oh, oh, I think I just heard the oven go off. I, I have to get the candy out of the oven. Okay, listen, I don't want to kill an old man, okay? What are you doing? Oh, I see, I see. Is a servant going to come and bring me my money? Oh, that was so cool. He was like, Pow! and then he was like, Ugh, I'm dead. Oh, that was way cooler than arresting people. But he had kids. Yeah, so what? You have kids. He was going to kill you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to go downstairs and throw away all that blue rock candy. Just don't let me catch you with it ever again. You got it? Okay. Okay, so there's another thing. Uh, I've been looking at your lung x-ray, and you do not have lung cancer. That little black speck right there is actually a Skittle. If you look closely, you can actually see the S. See, I was eating Skittles when I took the x-ray, and I guess I just dropped one in there. So, yay, no cancer. Hey, Nelly, I sold Wicked Glass until I got your $10,000 so now you can pay the mortgage. Jeffy, you made $10,000 selling rock candy? Absolutely, Daddy. I move weight. These are my streets. Well, we don't even really need the $10,000 anymore because the mortgage guy's dead. Oh, shibby. Yeah, so I guess we don't have any problems. Hey, Daddy, how about we take these 10 Gs and go blow it at the arcade? Okay, Jeffy, let's go. Woo! Um, Marvin? Jeffy? Someone? Please get me out of here! All right, baby, you want to watch a movie? Sure, Marvin. Hey, you! What did you eat? Baby, that wasn't me! I heard it come out of your caboose! It wasn't me! Look, it was a whoopee cushion! Well, aren't I just a little stinker? Owie. Jeffy, why don't you go do something? Like, go read a book. I can't read. I have an idea. Jeffy, why don't you go check the mail and see if my shoes came in? Wait, you ordered shoes? Yeah, Marvin. I'm sick of walking around barefoot. Uh, yeah, Jeffy, go check the mail. Check the mail? But it's dark out, huh? We'll take a flashlight, Jeffy. Oh, yeah, we do have the world's brightest flashlight. Oh, my God, Jesus Christ. I oh, my God, I think I'm blind. Jeffy, oh. just go check the mail. Marvin, are you okay? I can't see, I'm blind! Mail time, mail time, mail time! Oh, there is a package in there! <coughs> what is that? I'm gonna go check it out. Hello? Is anyone there? Somebody help me! He's gonna kill me! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Oh my god! <laughs> Easiest murder I'll ever get away with! And the best part is, no witnesses. Oh! Hey, did you see what I just did? Maybe. You gonna tell anybody? No. Good. Time to get rid of this evidence. You didn't see nothing. Oh, good. The cops are here. 
freeze! Get on the ground, motherfucker! One move and we'll blow you away! We're not playing around! Uh, okay. Hey, drop that lightsaber! I know it's a lightsaber! I've seen Star Wars! It's a flashlight! I said drop it, bitch! Okay, okay! Okay, Simmons, get him! <coughs> Thought you could murder a little girl and get away with it, huh? Well, not on my streets! I found the murder weapon! Good job, Simmons! Oh, you're going to jail for a long time! Let's go tell your parents what you did! Come on! Are you okay, Marvin? No, I have third-degree burns on my face because of how hot that light was, and I can't see. You'll be okay. Ugh, your son is under arrest. Jeffy! Was my package in the mail? Yes. Well, did you grab it? No, I got arrested. Ugh, I'll get it myself. Jeffy, why did you get arrested? Your son killed a little girl across the street, no less. Jeffy did not kill a little girl. Oh, yeah? Then why did I find him with this lightsaber, huh? Seems like Sith activity to me, killing younglings. That's a flashlight. Okay, Count Dooku. Well, we also found this bloody knife. Okay, did you find Jeffy holding that knife? No, but he was very close to it. Jeffy, did you kill a little girl? No, but I saw who did it. Ooh, tea time. Spill the tea. Who was it? Well, I don't know his name or anything, but he was bald with a little bit of hair on his sides, and he was really scary. What, was it him? No, close, but no. Oh, thank God. Hmm. Well, I guess we can take you to the police lineup, and you can pick him out. Come on. Okay, Jeffy, these are all the criminals that have been arrested tonight, so just point out which one did it. Can they see me? No, 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 you're totally safe in here. This is a two-way mirror, so we can see them, but they can't see us. Okay, then it was him. Hey, don't point at me, you little shit! I think he can see me. No, 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 he can't see you. Yes, I can! That little shit in the blue helmet and the yellow Jeffy shirt! You're dead when I get out of here! No one's safe for you anymore! No one can protect you! Yeah, that's definitely him. Oh, yeah, this is just regular glass. Huh, I guess he can see you. Well, you listen here. Just because this kid right here in this blue helmet and yellow shirt ratted you out and he's going to make you spend the rest of your life in jail doesn't mean you need to get all mad. You should be mad at yourself for killing that girl. Well, you just tell him that no is safe for him anymore because I'm going to send my goons after him. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Nuh -uh. Ha, I got you. I bugs bunnied you. So, eh, come on, Jeffy, let's go. Good news, sir. We caught the guy that killed that little girl. And Jeffy, here's the one that pointed him out. Good job, kid. You can have that lollipop. Okay. There is just one more thing, though, sir. The killer knows Jeffy's the one that pointed him out, and he said he'd send his goons after him. Well, you know what that means. He has to go into witness protection. Okay, great. So where's that? Your house. What, my house? Why does it have to be my house? Because you're a cop. You can protect him and his family. But, sir, I don't want them to go to my house. That's an order, guy. Now you tell his family they're moving in with you. I hate my life. Come on, Jeffy. Let's go. Whee! I thought you got shoes. I did, Marvin. They're shoes with wheels on them. Those are roller skates. <gasps> you should get some, too. Hey there. I have some good news, and I have the worst news I've ever heard in my life. What's the good news? Oh, those are sick. Thanks. Oh, well, the good news is Jeffy's not under arrest anymore because he correctly identified the killer. Yay! Whee! God, that looks so fun. What's the worst news? Oh, well, the worst news is now the killer knows who Jeffy is, and he's going to try to kill him, so now all of you guys have to come live with me. But why do we have to live with you? It's like witness protection, where we protect witnesses, apparently by sending them to my house because I'm a cop. But what if we don't want to live at your house? Why wouldn't you want to live at my house? It's fun. I have TV. You act like I don't even have TV. Well, I mean, what if we just want to stay at our house? No, now you have to live at my house because you offended me. I wouldn't want to live at your stupid house anyway. It's stupid, with, with your stupid red couch. What are you, like, five and your, and your stupid... Stupid popcorn ceilings, those are, those are dumb. Well, how long will we have to live at your house? I don't know, just until they execute the guy or whatever. Just come on, so pack up your stuff and we're gonna have a sleepover! We can paint each other's nails and talk about boys, come on! Yay! <sighs> okay, welcome to my house. I hope it's not too stinky for you or whatever it is you were expecting. It's not a third world country, we have food. Honey, I'm home. We're home. Boyney, you didn't tell me we were having company. I would have cleaned. No, you wouldn't. You never do any of your womanly duties. Ah, Boyney, you're such a cod. Yeah, well, look, Karen, these people are going to have to stay here for a little while because they're in witness protection. See, their son witnessed a murder, and now the murderer is after them. Boyney, that was nice of you to offer for them to stay with us. Oh, I didn't offer, and apparently they don't even want to be here because apparently they think we live in a barn. That's because we make animal noises at night, Boyney, right? Huh? She means her snoring. I haven't touched her in years. She snores like a polar bear. Ah, buddy, there you go again. Always making jokes. It's because I love to drink Coca-Cola. Yeah, Coca-Cola. So where do we sleep? On the couch? No, Boyney, let them have the bedroom. What, like hell? That's my bed. They can't sleep in it. It's a sleep number. It's adjusted to my body. It knows what I like. But, Boyney, you said it was only for a little while. I lied. I don't know how long it's going to be. They could be here for years. Boyney, let them have the bed. All right, listen, where are we going to sleep at? We're okay with the couch. On the couch. No, Boyney, let them have the bedroom. Besides, if we sleep on the couch, then you have to cuddle with 
with me! Ugh. Okay, fine. You guys can have the bed, but don't you dare touch my sleep number. My sleep number is 37, and I'll know if you mess with it. Okay, baby, I'm gonna put our stuff in the room. <gasps> oh my god! I love your rollerblades! Thank you, I got them today! Boy, I want rollerblades! You don't even have legs, Karen. Ooh, Boyney, instead of a boob job, I want a leg transplant! I don't even think they do that. Hey, can I jump on your back and we can roller skate around the living room? Sure! Whee! Oh, uh, I have to poop. Uh, the bathroom is right there. Just don't touch my toothbrush. Oh, man, I only wipe with toothbrushes. Jesus, this is going to be a long night. Breaking news, okay? A man that has killed a little girl has just escaped from jail. He's extremely dangerous, and if you see him, call the police immediately. Oh, no, the killer escaped? Well, that's not good. Well, good thing nobody knows the witnesses are here. Wait, hold on, who's calling me? Hello? Hey, uh, this is the, uh, the police chief. Oh, hey, chief. Are you sick? You sound different. Oh, yeah, real sick. <laughs> oh, well, I'm really sorry to hear that. What can I do for you? Yeah, so, uh, where are those witnesses again? Well, I took him back to my house like you told me to, remember? Oh, yeah, I remember. So, uh, what's your address? Oh, it's a 321 Pickle Tickle Lane. Oh, how could I forget that? Yeah, it's pretty memorable. Uh, by the way, Chief, did you see that the killer escaped? Oh, yeah. Dead shame that is. It would be a real shame if they came to your house and killed all of you. Yeah, that would be really bad. Well, it's a good thing that he doesn't know my address and he doesn't know the witnesses are here, which they are. Oh, yeah. Really good. Well, anyways, I'll see you soon. Wait, wait, you're coming over, Chief? Uh, uh, no, I mean, like, see you soon, like, uh, tomorrow. It work. But, but, sir, I requested tomorrow off months ago. You already approved it. Oh, oh yeah. How could I forget that? I, I meant, like, uh, uh, bowling, bowling. Bowling? Well, fuck yeah. I'll go bowling with you, Chief. That sounds like a lot of fun. All right. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. So. Oh, okay, bye. Oh, man, going bowling with the Chief? That sounds great. Maybe I'll get that big promotion. Should I let him win? Oh, I'll definitely let him win. I won't use bumpers. Hey, we had an accident. W we? What do you mean, we? We pissed the bed. We pissed the bed? You all pissed the bed? We were having a tickle fight! And our bladders were full and we peed. You pissed in my sleep number, you son of a bitch! It was a cuddle puddle and it escalated quickly! Yeah, it escalated into a piss puddle in my sleep number! I'm done. Is that mine and Karen's toothbrush in your ass? Yeah, I told you I had to wipe. Oh, Jesus, this is a nightmare. I should have let you all get murdered. Boyney, it was an accident! In accidents? Plural accidents? What do we do about the pee? You clean it! You clean the pee! You take the sheets off the bed and you clean the pee with soap and water! There were no sheets on the bed when we peed. Oh good, you peed directly on the mattress? Now it's a piss number! Get the fuck away from me with that! Get the fuck back! Uh, do we just put newspaper on the pee like in Big Yeah, Daddy? yeah, you put the newspaper on there and sleep in your filth like animals! Jesus, everybody get away from me! <laughs> Time to teach that kid a lesson for snitching on me! I'm gonna cut him like a fish! Oh boy, somebody's at the door! That must be my Uber Eats! I ordered Taco Bell at a Baja Blast! Time to die! Hey. Oh my god, that's the killer! The door's locked, idiot! You can't get in, and I have no reason to ever go outside! Oh yeah? Well, I guess you don't want this Taco Bell, do you? No! My beefy five-layer burrito! Give me that, you bastard! All you have to do is open the door and let me kill that kid, and this is all yours! Well, I can't do that, but I got three people who just pissed in my bed I'm pretty mad at. You can pick from one of them. No! I want the kid who snitched on me! Look, I can't let you kill him, no matter how good that Taco Bell is. Oh, really? Well, I guess you wouldn't mind if I eat this beefy five-layer burrito! No! Don't do it, you bastard! I'll kill you! No! No, no, no! That's my burrito, you son of a bitch! No! Spit it out! No! No, don't do that! Don't do that! That's my burrito! No! My burrito! No! He ate it! The bastard ate it! Have mercy! Oh, man! That beefy five-layer burrito was so good, but now I'm so damn thirsty! If only there was something for me to drink! <gasps> Oh, what's that? Is that a Baja Blast? You mind if I get a sip? Don't you dare sip my Baja Blast! I'll have you beheaded for that! Here I go! No! No! My Blast! My beautiful Baja Blast! No! That's it! You can eat my beefy five-layer burrito, but when you drink my Baja Blast, that's where I draw the line! My! Hey, hey. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> my Baja Blast! Ha, well, joke's on you! I have HIV, and I have open sores in my mouth! I don't care, I have my Baja Blast, and the front door is locked, so have fun out there! <laughs>
Mm, that's good. You want some blast? Sure. It's got HIV on it. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's got HIV on it. That's what you get for pissing in my bed, you goon. <laughs> Well, what were you doing at the front door? You were screaming a lot. Oh, the killer was there. What, the killer? Yeah, he escaped. But don't worry, I locked the front door. He can't get in. What about the back door? He's the killer! Ah! Marvin, hold my blast! My hands were getting cold. Okay, Marvin, if that killer kills me, do not give him my blast. Even if he has a knife to my wife's throat, do not give him the blast, got it? Okay. Okay, one more sip. Mmm. Uh, no, I can't. Okay. All right, get out of my house. Are you ready to die? I said get out of my house. Not until you give me the boy with the blue helmet. No. Is that a Nerf gun? Yeah, police issue. <gasps> never bring a knife to a gunfight. That's for eating my burrito, you piece of shit. We'll never have to worry about him ever again. Is that a real gun? Yeah, it just looks like a Nerf gun, so kids will play with it. It's pretty fucked up. All right, now give me my blast and get the f out of my house. Jeffy, Rose, let's go. So, guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know, Junior. Maybe change your smoke detector? That's Chef Pee Pee's job. Dude, let's make a rap song. Oh, that'd be so fun. All right, Cody, drop a beat for me. What, me? Yeah, just drop a beat, God. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I got a ball on my shirt, uh, uh. I go outside to eat dirt, uh, uh. You mess with me, you get hurt, uh, uh. I leave you blue like a smurf, uh. Oh! Leave you blue like a smurf! Like a smurf! Because when you beat up people, they turn blue! <laughs> like a smurf! Like a smurf! Oh, that was cool, Joseph. Yeah, that was off the dome, too, dude. I don't know, Joseph. That was pretty mid. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you hating on my bars, Cody? Yeah, Cody, that was awesome! Nah, I gave you that sick-ass DJ Mustard-style beat, and that was the riz you bring to it? That's kind of lame. My right shoe could make a better rap than that. What? Shoes can't even talk! Yeah, your shoe can't rap better than Joseph. I wouldn't say anything like that. <laughs> with shoe? Yeah, that's me, the shoe on your foot! Look, and I can make a better rap song than these fools. Well, then do it. What? Oh, you trying to put me on the spot? Okay, okay, then. Watch this. What? What? I'm a shoe. You. Yeah. Uh. What? You ain't got no soul. Ha. Uh. What? Pulling strings in this hole. Ah. I'm a shoe, I'm a shoe, looking fresh and brand new. Stepping shit, PU. I'm a pair, I come in too. Walk on you like bubble gum. Watch your stuff, these streets I run. What are those? Your shoes are dumb. Bitch, I'm fly like Air Force One. I'm a shoe, what? I'm a shoe, what? I'm a shoe, stuff on you, what? Stuff on you, stuff. You black and blue. I'm a shoe, what? I'm a shoe, yeah. I'm a shoe, stuff on you, what? Stuff on you, stuff you black and blue. Wow, I gotta admit, shoe, that shit went pretty hard. Yeah, I told you I go hard. See, I've been in the game for a while. Wow, Joseph, Cody's shoe did rap better than you. Whatever, dude. Look, how about we go outside and play basketball? Look, I got something to say, too. Basketball? Yeah, y'all been playing around with me for too long, and I gotta say what I gotta say right now. Okay, then say it. Uh, okay, okay, you think you can put me on the spot, too? All right, then, let's go. I'm a ball ho. Watch me dribble, ooh. Watch me dribble, ooh. Ooh, I might go between your nuts, nigga. Cross you up, leave you stuck. Getting green Milwaukee bucks. Stuck on you, don't give no fuck. Give no fuck. Bust your ass, you out of luck. Fish into it, kinda suck. Yeah. But I still like that fit duck. I'm Michael Quack. Jordan, you're a smush. Ballin' like my dick was yeah. tough. Basketball, basketball. Ball. I'm a ball, cross you up. Uh. Make you fall, ball. you ain't good at ball. all. Stunk on you, Ooh. like Taco Fall. Cause the boy, you small oh. windmill dunk. Yeah. In the air, you yeah. smell my ball. ball. Wow, I'm sorry, basketball. I didn't know you felt that way. Yeah, I'm getting tired of being dribbled all the time. It makes me dizzy. Well, that is what you were designed for. What? No, I didn't ask to be a basketball. Look, balls have feelings too. Yeah, I can confirm that. Balls do have feelings. Well, I'm so sorry, basketball. Let's just go home. Cody, why is everything rapping? I don't know. It is kind of weird. Maybe we're just hungry and that's why we're hallucinating. Oh, yeah. Let's go ask Chef Pee, -Pee to make us something to eat. Yeah. Uh-uh. 
Mm-mm, these burgers look delicious. Hey, Chef BB. Not right now, Junior. Look, I'm making hamburgers. You should be grilling up some wieners with no buns. I don't have any wieners, Cody. You got one in your pants, you sexy mofo. Ew, shut up. Look, what do you guys want? Well, I think me and Cody are really hungry because we've been hallucinating all day. Like, we've seen random objects start rapping. What? Objects can't rap, Junior. Oh, I wouldn't say all that. What, spatula? Yeah, it's me, spatula. What, spatula, you can talk? Yeah, and I have something to say. Oh, God damn it. Hey, where's the meat? Oh, my God. Put it all in my face. Yum, yum. <laughs> where's the meat? I'm a spatula, let me make you a grilled cheese I'm really thin, squeeze me between your butt cheeks Hit it from the back, flip them over like a flapjack I love meatballs, it reminds me of a ball sack Wow, spatula, I didn't know you were gay Me neither, can I borrow that? Uh, yeah, Cody, look, you can have it Oh, man Oh, uh, Chef people, we're gonna be upstairs. Just let us know when the burgers are done. Ugh, I don't even know if I want these burgers anymore. So, Cody, what do you want to do until the hamburgers are ready? I don't know. Junior, can you change that stupid smoke detector? It's getting annoying. We'd have to grab a ladder. It would be a whole thing. Yeah, and I don't want to grab a ladder because it might start rapping. Hey, guys, what are you doing? Uh, nothing, Jeffy. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just smacking the old diaper. And I'm tired of it. <laughs> diaper? You can talk? See, si, Holmes. And I got a rap song I want to rap. Why does this keep happening? Hey, it's the diaper holes! I got a whole lot of shit to get off my chest! Live la vida loca! Smack the diaper, make a sound, beat it up like Chris Brown. Need to shit, go to town, I can hold up to a pound. Take it off, what's that smell? Smell so bad, stinks like hell. So much brown, it's hard to tell. That was lunch, Taco Bell! What do you think about that, Holmes? Why is your diaper Hispanic? I didn't even know my diaper could talk! Daddy! My diaper's rapping at me! Cody, why is everything rapping? I don't know, Junior, this is getting ridiculous. And change that goddamn smoke detector. Cody, we should focus on the important things, like random objects rapping, not a stupid smoke detector. Yeah, I guess you're right. What do we do? You wanna play trains? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's not like they could rap or anything. Choo-choo! Oh, God damn it! It's me, Thomas, and I got something to rap about. Thomas? What? Choo-choo! Uh, we running trains, ho! Where that tunnel, uh? Where that tunnel, uh? Little engine that could, I'm the nigga that would. Choo choo on your bitch ass, Thomas with that cold gas. Six wheels, coming fast. Where's your bitch? Flat your ass, getting the train ran on her. How she like it? Hard and fast. What y'all think about that? Did I go off the tracks or what? Yeah, that shit did go pretty hard, Thomas. Why is the beat the same for all of them? I don't know. But I'm tired of everything rapping, Cody. Like, what's happening to us? I don't know. Maybe somebody slipped something into our drink? Bill Cosby hasn't been here, Cody. Yeah, that's true. If he had, he would have been rapping. I, I have an idea. Why don't we just call a doctor and ask a doctor what's happening with us? Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, let me call a doctor. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, doctor. Something weird's happened to me and my friend. Oh, what's going on? Everything we look at starts rapping music. Yeah, I've been saying you kids gotta stop listening to that rap music. It'll rot your brain. All that talk about hoes and bitches and ass and cars and lean. It's too cool. The human mind can't fathom stuff that cool. You know, you can't spell crap without rap. Yeah, you kids gotta start listening to something else, like country or pop or rock and roll or bluegrass or polka or something, I don't know. So you think it's our fault because we like to listen to rap music? Oh yeah, definitely. You know what Dr. Dre said, bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. I don't really know what that means, but I'm still gonna eat tricks. I don't even care if I'm not a kid. Yeah, you know, I actually got pulled over when I was a teenager for listening to rap music. Yeah, they searched my car and everything. Taught me a valuable lesson, it did. So now I'm a cop and I pull people over for listening to rap music. Isn't that ironic? Well, doctor, like, no, something like really weird's happening because like, objects will rap at us. Like, we saw a basketball start rapping at us. Oh, well maybe you kids are just schizophrenic and you're just now noticing. Hey, man. Wait, who the hell said that? Over here, man. Wait, it's gotta be an object trying to rap. On your head, dude. On my head? Yeah, what's up? It's me. <laughs> well, it's your bald spot. My bald spot? Yeah, I've been here for years. Now it's my time to shine. <laughs> well, what do you have to say, bald spot? Uh, check this out. <laughs> yeah, the bald spot, nigga. What? Yeah. You going bald, Brooklyn? Uh. Uh, just cut it off, Brooklyn. No hair, I don't care about spot. It makes you still wear a hat, cover up. I'm still here, just give up. All the ladies laugh at you. Looking like Mr. Magoo. Need some hair, you wish it grew. What's the means you look like, Brooklyn? <laughs> 
what you think about that, Baldy? That was mean. I'm gonna go put on a hat to shut him up. <laughs> Howdy. Yeah, now that I've shut him up, this is pretty weird. Everything keeps rapping. What do you think it is, Doctor? I don't know. Maybe we have some kind of, like, new rare disease that makes things start rapping? You've never heard of something like this before? No, never. Junior, change that goddamn smoke detector! Okay, I'll change it right now, Cody. Wait a minute, that's not a smoke detector. That's a carbon monoxide detector. There must be a carbon monoxide leak in here. Ah, yeah it is. Oh, goddamn it. I was trying to let y'all know y'all was gonna die. How you almost died from carbon monoxide I should warn you shit I tried You ignore me, let it slide Glad you heard me, took some time Made a noise, I'm not a mime Now you know that you didn't die We cool, not niggas for life Well, that makes a lot of sense It was a carbon monoxide leak It was making us all hallucinate that everything was rapping I'm gonna go find the leak and fix it well, Cody, I'm glad he figured out the problem. Yeah. Hey, y'all forgot about me, Cast the Rapper, and I got something to say. No, we're out of here. Yeah, I don't want to hear that. Hey, where y'all go? 